Now, you saw the video, and actually that was, um, when we did it in 2012, it was the third time we've done it in Bristol. And this is not including the times it happens in Cardiff or in Manchester or in London or different parts. In Bristol alone, with these three runs, we have raised so far a total of 320,000 pounds. And those uh, causes for this year that have already been mentioned, we've got three. We talk about the poor, the oppressed, and the needy. For the poor, we're looking at communities in Uganda. We're talking about communities here who are in bitter, biting poverty. Communities living on less than one dollar a day, which translates as you only get to eat meat once a year. If you have two children and one of them is sick, you have to choose which child you take to the hospital because it takes you two days to walk to hospital. And if you're lucky, you get to stay with relatives on the way. But it's a dire situation. Now, what we're doing here is we're not going to give out a handout. We're not just going to empty our pockets and give charitably. What we're going to do is we're going to partner with the poor in a way that gives them dignity and in a way that allows us to be able to come alongside rather than dominate with a checkbook. We are looking to do a model of international development where people don't ask for permission and they don't thank you afterwards. Why? Because you've empowered them, you've facilitated them to help themselves. It's a much more sustainable model of development. It means that the prime focus of our giving is going to be training and equipping, monitoring, evaluating and guiding local community-based facilitators who themselves will help other people fulfill their potential. And that is very, very exciting. We talk about the oppressed. The oppressed, as we have sort of already mentioned before, it's Syria. Syria is one of the largest refugee crises in history. There are now two and a half million refugees pouring out of that country. Six million people displaced from their homes. Hundreds of thousands of people killed, including children. And so we are particularly working with World Vision for refugees based in Lebanon. And uh, I'll show you a little bit more about that later on as we go on. But then finally, it's about Bristol. It's about actually supporting the council's nominated charity of Click Sergeant, which is helping families where children are suffering with cancer and leukemia and having homes from home. So when children are receiving treatment, they've got a place to stay, a stable base. Because the Cancer for Children Centre in Bristol serves the whole of the southwest. So people are coming from all over. They need a place to stay. They need care. They need support. But also, we're going to be looking to work with the homeless, those in food poverty, those that are ex offenders who need to be able to put back on the straight and narrow. And uh, we're going to be looking at all kinds of different issues where there's social need and community need around our city. But there's one very important thing that I need to say about Love Running. I told you that we've raised £320,000, but you need to hear this from me, and you need to hear it clearly. Love Running is not about the running. You know that. I think you got that. But let me tell you the second thing which might surprise you. Love running is not about the money. It's not primarily about the money. It's not just about the money. If it was about the money, we would just give money. If it was about the money, we would just write a check. If it was about just the money, we would do something far more easy, far less inconvenient, far more quick. It's not just about the money. It's about us, and it's about love. There's a great quote from Mother Teresa, and she said this, let us not be satisfied with just giving money. Money is not enough. Money can be got, but they need your hearts to love them. She also said, let us more and more insist on raising funds of love, of kindness, of understanding, of peace. When we run, what we are in effect saying is we're saying, I am giving of myself. This is me 
whole. This is my heart. This is my energy and this is my effort. I am not simply going to salve my conscience by giving some charity. I'm going to give myself so that love is allowed to flow between us. And ultimately, the love of God flows between us. It runs between us. A couple of years ago, you saw on the video, we went over, we took a team of love runners over to Zimbabwe to see the last project that we did with World Vision. It's an 18-year community-based project which is now successfully being completed, which means our work is done. We move out because now that community can help themselves. But we went in, a half a dozen of us, and we took a bunch of photos of love runners and the uh, stuff that had happened in Bristol, and I had this whole folder, and I want to show these community leaders. We sat down in a room, and I said, I want you to know that there are people on the other side of the world who care enough for you to put themselves through this kind of activity and effort. And we cried together. We wept Because it wasn't just about one nation writing a check for another. But it was about human beings saying, we want a better world. We want to change the status quo. We don't want this system of oppression and injustice, inequality, to be propagated under our watch. We want change. I was told that the next uh, thing that happened, another team from World Vision came. And they actually took that particular video that you've just watched four and a half minutes long and they showed it to communities in Zimbabwe that wanted to see it the only problem was they only had a laptop on which to show it and so you could only get in around about 12 people into this room to watch on the laptop at a time and I'm told they watched the video on constant rotation as group after group after group turned up to watch the video they watched it for four hours as people came crowding in to see, here's a human connection. This is something which is heart to heart. And when I run, I'm literally putting myself on the line. I'm putting my body on the line. And our, our vision, our desire for you in love running is not simply that you get fit and shed a few pounds, which you will do, but is something of your heart gets captured. And what we're going to do as we go through this is that not only are we going to run together, but we're going to together get our heart for those in greatest need, in situations, people that we will never meet, but we will nonetheless be changed. So that is the heart of running. It is, in effect, love running.